guys, for today's video we're going to be talking about your first apartment. This video was requested by someone and I thought it was a great idea. So someone asked for me to do a video on what you will need for your first apartment, but I thought I would take it a step further and just kind of talk to you about getting your first apartment. And then I am going to share with you some things that you will need for your apartment. These aren't going to be like fancy decor pieces or anything. They're going to be items that I think are essential and things that you actually do need to purchase or have in your first apartment. I know you guys have been requesting for me to do an apartment tour, which is still coming, but I thought that this video was a little bit more important. I feel like as a YouTuber, I'm definitely guilty of, you know, showing you guys, hey, look, this is my apartment. But if you're in the market or looking for your first apartment or saving up for your first apartment and you're a little bit younger, these are some of the things that you can do that will help you get that apartment. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is obviously when you're looking for an apartment, you need to look for something that's within your budget and most people are only just thinking about the money aspect. They're like, okay, like let me save up and be able to afford this apartment. But you have to keep in mind that the one of the things that's like a little bit more important obviously than like saving up that money is you need to have like really good credit which I feel like is something that a lot of YouTubers like don't talk about at all. I know Jordan um, Cheyenne, I love her channel, she's talked about this uh, before but yeah you need to have good credit. It is probably the only reason that I was able to get my uh, two apartments that I've lived in just because honestly as a youtuber getting real right now you're considered like self-employed I'm not employed by YouTube or employed by my network you're self-employed so when you're applying for an apartment that's not always the ideal occupation um, most people especially in the area that I live in it's extremely competitive so they're looking for someone who you know is getting a check in the mail every week or every two weeks as a YouTuber, you get paid once a month by your network and you don't get like a pay stub. There's nothing really to like show. So if I didn't have like excellent, excellent credit, I would not be in my apartment. You also need good credit to get a car. You guys know I recently got a new car, which I'm super excited about. Um, but yeah, I needed to have good credit for that. And also if you guys are thinking about going to college, student loans, you need to have good credit for that. So credit in general is just really really important so whether you're younger or you're a little bit older you really need to think about having a good credit so I personally use a website called Credit Sesame just because it is 100% free so you don't have to put in your credit card or anything like that it's just free um, not only do they give you your credit score but they also offer like monthly tips and tricks that you can take away from it and hopefully better your credit with those tips and tricks they'll also provide you and kind of let you know you know based on your credit score this is like a good credit card or these are some good tips to improve your score so yeah that's something that you really need to think about is just in general having good credit so Definitely don't go out when you're able to and like get a credit card and spend a ton of money on it. My uh, personal advice to you is to get a credit card and charge like pick something that you're going to charge on that credit card, but something that's a necessity, not like clothes or anything like that. Like for I remember when I uh, first started driving, like my credit card was only for gas. So that's what was put on it. So it's something that is a small amount. It's a necessity. It's something you obviously make the money to afford and you can pay it back, um, you know, when you get your bill. You don't want to accumulate debt. Definitely keep that in mind. Credit Sesame, I'll have it linked in the description box down below. So when you're done watching this video, make sure you go check your credit score because I bet a lot of you probably don't even know what your current credit score is and that's going to be really important especially like I said in getting an apartment they will run your credit and if you are like me and looking in a competitive area that's something that's going to make you stand apart like obviously I did not look um any better work wise than most of the people applying for the apartment however out of all the people that were applying I had the best credit so they've both times just decided to go with me over at the other people. So I can't stress enough how important that is. I highly suggest using Credit Sesame just because like I said, again, it's free and they also offer all of those little tips and tricks which are extremely beneficial. If your credit score is low now, when you're watching this video, don't be discouraged. Like there's always ways that you can improve it. Description box down below, check it out, check your credit. If I do one thing, if I help you with one thing, I hope I can give you some some beneficial knowledge from this video. Now moving on to what I actually think you're going to need for your apartment. Now the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is a coffee maker or a Keurig. 
Um, it doesn't have to be a Keurig. They make different things that are comparable now. But if you are a coffee or tea drinker, I highly recommend it just because if it is your first apartment, um, you're going to want to save money. And I did the math last night. So basically, if you purchase your K-Cups uh, for a Keurig from Target, they're like $12 roughly for $16. So you're going to get about $0.70 cents for each of those little pods, meaning you're getting a cup of coffee or a tea or like a little fancy drink from your Keurig for $0.70. Cents. So that's like $21, $21, let's say $20 to $30 a month as opposed to if you go to Starbucks every week or every day out of the week, you're going to probably spend more than $30 in just one week alone. So I highly recommend it. It's a good way to save money. Next, you're going to need a set of dishes. And I personally think that this set is absolutely the best. It is from Crate and Barrel. Um, you can buy the plates and things individually, which is also great because you're not stuck with a set of things that you have extras that you don't really need of. You can purchase as many bowls, plates, smaller plates, larger plates, whatever dishes you want. And they just kind of like go together. I personally prefer that over buying like the more expensive set just because you'll end up with things that you're like never really needing, you know? So I like it better this way. I find that the set from Crate and Barrel, it's really not that much more expensive than like a set from uh, Home Goods or pieces you would get from Home Goods or Target. It's still pretty reasonably priced and Crate and Barrel always has like a discount. What I will say about these dishes is I've had them for over a year now and none of them have broken. I have dropped them on my floors. I have, I'm really clumsy when it comes to like dishes and when I'm washing dishes. I had an entire set before and I singly broke every single piece and it's not me like being rough. It's just like literally washing the dish and it's slipping out of your hand and it just like breaks because it's not the best quality. The Crate and Barrel ones are amazing and they are dishwasher safe. Next you're going to need a set of cooking utensils and I got these individually from Home Goods. They all match. It was like I had basically my whole family on a hunt for the different pieces. Uh, my dad ordered some online from like eBay, I believe, that we like couldn't find. But most of them, we each individually, like I said, got them from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. So the KitchenAid sets are amazing and you can get them really affordably at your Marshalls or Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Or you can try and look online, but you have to be patient if you want the whole set at a discount. Or you can go ahead and splurge and just buy the set. But these are really good quality. I've had them ever since I first moved out. So I've had them for a couple years and they're still holding up really great. Next thing that I would recommend having is some sort of fan. Whether or not you have an air conditioner, I personally do not have an air conditioner. Sometimes it's good to just run a fan. It's uh, sometimes helps you save on the electricity. So this is the fan that I have. It is from Dyson. I got it heavily, heavily discounted online. I will try and find it for the same price that I found it at. And the reason why I like it is because it is marketed as pushing out air that's like cooler than a normal fan, which I do believe it does that. So it's a lot better than just having a normal fan, but a normal fan would work too. This also looks better decor wise. It kind of like is a little modern. So I think it just looks a little better. Something that may not seem essential, but is definitely an essential is some sort of welcome mat. I personally got mine from West Elm, but not only is it important to like welcome people at the door, most importantly, you want to save whatever flooring you have in your apartment, especially if you are obviously if it's an apartment, you're renting it. You do not want to ruin the floor. So it's good to have something by the door to have people wipe their feet off on before they come in or even a nice little shoe rack next to the door to place their shoes. I think that that's really a really big like essential to have. You're going to need some sort of silverware and a utensil holder. So I got both of these from Target really inexpensively. Again, some things that I've had since I first moved out, they've lasted for years now and they hold up really well. Some other essentials that you're going to need is obviously a paper towel holder. If you don't already have one built into your kitchen, you're going to need some trash cans. I personally have two separate trash cans and then you're going to need like a dish drying thingy. I don't know exactly what it's called, like a dish rack to put your dishes in after they're wet uh, if you don't have a dishwasher. So I personally really like the brand Simple Human. It can get a little pricey. However, all of the items have like a warranty on them for five to 10 years, depending on the product. So pretty much will last forever. If it rusts at any point, you can send it back and get a new one. Um, you can get them really inexpensively at Bed and Bath and Beyond. They always have that 20% off coupon. Uh, my trash can is Simple Human. I got that off of Amazon. So I'll link those down below. I just think that they're great essentials and they all kind of like go together and match. So it's great to have them all in your kitchen. 
Something else that you're going to need for cooking is like those little cooking utensil holders. You do not want to put your cooking utensil on to the actual countertop. Obviously that's not even sanitary. You don't want to ruin that. You want to have a cooking uh, utensil holder. So mine is just this marble one. I got it from Crate and Barrel again. It will be linked down below, but I really enjoy that. So those are all of the items I wanted to cover in this video. Just kind of our general idea of some things that you need to purchase for your first apartment. I'm sure I missed a couple of things, but I didn't want to go too in depth with like cleaning products and paper towels and just regular bath towels. I feel like those are like, everyone remembers to get those. But if you guys want me to do separate videos on like specifically what you would need for your bathroom and like what I use or what I, you need for your kitchen, I can do videos like that as well. Credit Sesame is linked down below. Be sure to check your credit score after you watch this video. It's really important. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.